We'll What's up, YouTube fam? Hey guys, this is Living to Be Happy. I'm Alora, and today we are going to get rid of the mildew that's growing in RVs. We usually put damp rid in our cabinets and stuff, but the last few months we haven't, and now there's mildew, and I'll put in like a picture or video like right here of what it looks like. This is my brother John. He is the UVC expert. He was nice enough to bring these lights over to help kill the mold and mildew that's growing in the RV. And he's here to tell us a little bit about UVC lights and what they do. So, what are UVC lights? <laughs> Sterilization. <laughs> okay, we'll start again. All right, John, so what are UVC lights? Well, Dee, they are lights that clean and sanitize and sterilize surfaces <laughs> and stuffs. Yeah, so you told me that they emit uh, ozone. Is that like, what is that? It's ozone gas, and yes, they emit it, and uh, it is deadly in large quantities. Is this, would this uh, produce large quantities? If we seal up your RV and turn the lights on, maybe about an hour. So people should definitely- you get sleepy. Definitely open. Is it like, would it be like carbon monoxide you would die from or would it be like ozone? No, it'd be ozone poisoning, it's a gas. Okay, so if you guys decide to use UVC to sanitize your RV, make sure all the windows are open, should they leave? Not necessary, but a good preventative of death. They should at least have flowing air, open windows, at should. the very least. So I have my my exhaust vent going, my exhaust fan. Should we run the AC too, to bring air in? No, as long as the windows are open, it, it should be fine in those quantities. Okay, and I also took out like a bunch of crap from... <laughs> <laughs> I also took out a bunch of stuff that uh, was in my cabinets. That's not really necessary, or you should take things out. Wherever so the light, light touches, it's going to sanitize. So if, if you have a bunch of stuff, you should pull it out. Just pull things out, open your windows, and get out if you can. Don't let the light touch your skin. That's it. Don't let the light touch your skin. Can you look at the light? No. You don't want anything to do with the light. It <laughs> <laughs> causes skin cancer and uh, it'll... And that's in... Yeah. Is, do you think this is more effective than like vinegar, bleach, peroxide? Mm, I use those steps no matter what. So probably clean everything really good and then use this to like get into all the nooks and crannies, kill everything. Sounds right. Okay, that was John, UVC expert. Any last words about UVC? No. Are they on right now? Oh yeah. Don't look at them. <laughs> oh, wrong one. So you can look at it for like a split second, but don't, what did you say? Oh, that one's on. Bask in the uh, poisonous oh, light. I got them both on. <laughs> Okay, so in a space, can I video it or will it crack my camera or something? Uh, no, it shouldn't fuck with your lens. It's not <clears> like that. So, oh, they're not on. Okay, so you said in a space like this is about five feet long, um, probably want to use two, two lights. Yes, two one foot lights for a five foot by two foot section. Okay. These are small eBay and we just want to make sure we don't expose our skin to the light. We turn them on and now we shut our cabinet. <laughs> Sanitization. And John's not actually an expert. Uh, you gave it away. <laughs> 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 They're supposed to Google that part. Yeah, so just Google all the information, but uh, John's pretty reliable, but uh, in case something bad happens... Don't blame me!
Yeah. <laughs> Good. Goodbye, YouTube.